In this video, we'll balance the net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus AlCl3. This is silver nitrate, and this is aluminum chloride. First, for net ionic equations, we have to balance the molecular equation, and this is the molecular equation. I can see right away that I have three chlorines here and only one here. So I'm going to put a three, my coefficient for AgCl. Now I have three silvers and only one here. Put a three in front of the silver nitrate. The nitrates are balanced too because I have three nitrates here, three nitrates here, and I have an aluminum here and here. So everything's balanced. These are the coefficients for our balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the states for each substance. If you know your solubility rules, nitrates, very soluble. Put an AQ, that's going to dissolve, dissociate into its ions. Chlorides also, almost always, they're going to be soluble with the exception of silver chloride. Always be careful with silver. If you look this up on a solubility table, you'll see this is insoluble. It's also a good one to memorize. So if it's insoluble, it won't dissolve. It's going to be a solid. When these two substances react, this will form a precipitate. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube in a precipitation reaction. Then we said nitrates are very soluble, AQ. So we have the states for the different substances. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. Silver is always going to have a one plus ionic charge. The whole nitrate ion is one minus. So I have three silver ions and I won't write the states now. Let's write those at the end. And then I also have three of these nitrate ions, NO3 minus. Good one to remember. Then we have aluminum. That's three plus group 13 on the periodic table, chloride one minus, each one is one minus. So I have an Al three plus the aluminum ion, plus I have three of these chloride ions. And those are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split solids apart. So it's just gonna be three AgCl, that's the silver chloride, plus we said aluminum three plus the nitrate ion one minus, Al, three plus, just like in the reactants, three of the nitrate ions. And those are the products. So right now we have our complete ionic equation. At this point, we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. So I'm looking for things that are the same in the reactants here and in the products. I can see I have three of these nitrate ions here in the reactants and in the products. Let's cross those out. Those are spectator ions. And I have the aluminum ion, Al3 plus here. Again, in the products, spectator ions, those are gone. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus AlCl3. Let me clean this up, write the states in. We'll do one more thing and we'll have our net ionic equation. Since we have a three in front of each compound, we can just reduce that down to one. So let's just get rid of that. And then we don't write the one in by convention. You'll note that charge is balanced. We have a plus and a minus. Gives us a net charge of zero. This is neutral, net charge of zero. And the atoms, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus AlCl3. Thanks for watching.